Welcome to Greg Dean's Stand-Up Comedy Workshop. It's now question and answer time. And the one that came in is from Deshaun Y. I see so many open micers just talking and not being funny, including me. What am I missing? Well, Deshaun, uh, well, it's certainly not talent, effort, or intelligence. Uh, in my personal opinion, what you're missing is knowledge. Uh, most beginner comedians don't know what a joke is. It's, uh, it's a specialized form of communication uh, that happens in the human mind, okay? And you kind of need to understand that uh, and, and, and to know how to structure and put together in, uh, uh, what you're communicating into something that is a joke. Because if we're gonna laugh at humor, there must be joke structure. We laugh for a lot of reasons, being tickled, nervous and stuff. But I'm talking about laughing at humor and there must be a joke there. Now, when I say joke, I mean a single unit of humor. Uh, again, it only happens in the human mind, okay? And that single unit of humor can be in a, in a comics or a comic strip or a cartoon or a sketch or sitcom movie. Uh, even improv, yet that still has to be there. That structure has to be there because it's what causes the mind to trick itself. And that's what it does, is it tricks itself. Uh, I'm part of the International Society of Humor Studies, which is like 5,000 PhDs all over the world who study humor and me. <laughs> I'm like the blue collar humor theorist amongst them. And I have actually seen an MRI of a person's brain receiving and getting a joke, and it bounces around in four different hemispheres uh, before a laugh comes out. So it's a process, not just a process of thinking, but it actually different connections between different lobes of the brain to, to get the incongruity and to resolve it. Okay, so you, you really need to understand how a joke works. The way I teach it is I have three mechanisms uh, that connect the first part and second part or set up and punch uh, if you want. It's not always set up and punch. That's just the way one-liners are expressed. There's a lot of ways of expressing humor. Uh, so once you know how a joke works and information passes through the human mind to make that humor, then they can decide whether to laugh at it or not if they find humor in it. Then once you know that, you can first identify what a joke is. That's really important. What's a joke? I mean, I've got to open mics. That's not a joke. It's not a joke. That's not a joke. Oh, that's a joke. They get a laugh. Or some other show, small shows and stuff. Uh, the other thing is that it helps you fix jokes because once you understand how these structures, these mechanisms structure jokes and what the human mind is doing through all this, then you can all you can fix the jokes because the fundamentals on at the center of the joke are right. Then you just have to rewrite the joke or re-perform it a certain way to make it work. And lastly, uh, you can write jokes at will. Uh, I used to do radio spots when my book first came out, and I said I teach anybody to write a joke in two minutes. And of course, everybody wanted me on there, and I did tons of those things, hundreds of them, and never failed except once where the producer who was supposed to write the joke kept saying, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I don't, and I was like, wow, dude, you can't deal with somebody who won't stop like uh, their internal dialogue externalizing. And at the end, the guy said, uh, and I, the DJ wrote a joke. <laughs> and I wasn't even teaching him. So this can be done. And this comes from knowledge. Knowledge. Having the knowledge of what makes jokes work. How human beings, minds process information for it to become a joke. And if they find humor in it, it jumps around the mind. They incongruity resolution. And then... Uh, they, if they find the humor, they laugh at it, okay? So it all starts with understanding a joke, which is knowledge. Or you can spend, I don't know, 5, 10, 20 years experimenting and trying to find the funny uh, by accident, 